about how a student is cope is healing through art and who CSU football is replacing as their new offensive coordinator. Then we're going to dive right into how the rec center's new policy will affect students as well as a possibly haunted ice cream shop here in Fort Collins. All of that on more on CTV starting now. Good evening, Rams. I'm Sophia Ridley. And I'm Robbie Patla. We're so glad you could join us tonight for our first new show of the 2021 spring semester. This week saw 12 new COVID-19 outbreaks in Larimer County, adding to a total of 69. While this does not match the amount recorded by the county and state health department in December, the amount of cases are still on the rise. Around 1,500 were reported in these new outbreaks, which don't include Colorado State University's numbers, were, that were noted to have been just over 1,700 last week. This may raise questions as spring semester progresses. As of right now, CSU will return to remote learning following spring break, now taking place from April 12th through the 16th. With new developments and the slowing of the spread of COVID-19, Governor Jared Polis recently announced that Colorado is moving to Phase 1B.2, which focuses on vaccinating educators from pre-K through high school, people within the age range of 65 to 69, and essential government workers. Vaccinations will begin next Monday on the 8th. Colorado will end up using half of the vaccinations on educators, and Polis hopes that all school instructors will be vaccinated by the end of the month. Polis did not say when university community or or community college professors will be eligible for the vaccine. Now we're gonna head over with Ren Wadsworth live in the studio to tell you all you need to know about CSU COVID guidelines for the spring semester. It's a new semester here at Colorado State University, which means new guidelines and protocols for COVID-19, or does it? Let's take a look at how the pandemic preparedness team is keeping Rams safe this spring. As students funnel back onto Colorado State University's campus for the new semester, and with vaccines on the horizon, Members from the Pandemic Preparedness Team explain how RAMS can stay safe for the spring. Most of what uh, the, the current guidelines uh, include are the same as what was in place during the fall. So we want people wearing a, a face covering, uh, maintaining that physical or social distancing, and then ensuring they're following the protocols around good hand washing. Guidelines such as masks, social distancing, and disinfecting surfaces are all still in place from the fall. But new precautions are in place this semester, like the weekly testing for all staff and students at Colorado State. We've had a little bit more time to really ramp up the ability of the university to test large numbers of people. So um, for that reason, uh, the university can now ask more people to get tested on a weekly basis. As the semester moves into its third week, the pandemic preparedness team is doing their best to keep Rams healthy and safe so they can keep learning at CSU for the spring. Now that we've started a new semester, many students on campus are craving a routine, myself included. Maybe spitting into a tube every week was just the kind of routine I needed. What are your thoughts on the new weekly testing, Robbie? Well, I mean, I guess it could be better than not being able to see after sticking a nasal swab up your nose. What do you think, Sophia? I think my only suggestion is not to eat before you do it. It's a little gross, a little gross. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> new semester means new regulations, especially when it comes to the Student Recreation Center. Due to Larimer County's Level Orange State, the Campus Rec Center have put in place new guidelines, including a reservation and no-show policy. Effective February 6th, this will apply to all rec center facilities, such as the weight rooms, climbing wall, and swimming pool. According to the establishment, if a member does not check in within the first 20 minutes of their reservation, it will be canceled and available for other RAMs to book. If students wish to make a reservation or change it in any way, they can log on to this rec center's web portal. Early Saturday morning, a man was arrested in book with charges of attempted first-degree murder, first-degree assault, and criminal contempt. 911 received a call shortly after midnight about a shooting in northwestern Fort Collins. A female victim and a witness fled the residence to a nearby grocery store. The victim was taken to a local hospital for an emergency surgery. Larimer County Sheriff's deputies, Fort Collins police, and Larimer County Regional SWAT surrounded the location of the shooting around 5 in the morning and arrested Jeffrey James Lewick. Anyone with any information about this incident is asked to contact investigator Justin Atwood at 970-498-5143. Don't go anywhere, Rams. Because after the break, Zaya Hiley will be giving you your weather update. So stick around. So there you are. 
shuffling through a stack of resumes and you come to mind. This is it. First impression. My way in. But, uh, here's the thing. Can my resume show you how I truly stand out? Can one piece of paper really tell you my whole story? Like, that I was studying, going to night school while working two jobs just to help my parents pay for groceries. Or how any time there was an opportunity, I was the first one to step up. Because I wasn't going to let my life, my circumstances, dictate who I was going to become. And all of that, that determination, the commitment, the drive, that's me. And that's something you just can't put on paper. Look beyond the resume. Discover new ways to develop great talent, like me. Welcome back from the break, Rams. I'm Zaya Hailey, and I will be your weather anchor for the semester. So, let's get started and take a look at our current conditions today. So, if you took a look outside, you would see that it is a partly cloudy night, with temperatures just above freezing at 33 degrees. And if you will be up late studying tonight, like I probably will be, our moonrise is at 11.06, so you can take a look at that. And if you were on campus today, it was a very nice day outside. I was very excited to check out what we had. And I'll tell you about it. It was pretty warm, and it, we had a nice breeze going through. And there was also lots of wildlife outside, so we got the geese going around campus. And also, of course, the people on campus, too, just relaxing, taking a seat in the grass. Even some people were out studying on the oval. But there is still some frozen ice and snow left over, and it still somehow survived, even though we got up into the 60s today. And after that, we can take a look at our overnight lows for tonight. On the eastern side, we have 20s and 30s. We've got Burlington at 34, Lyman and Lamar both at 28. And then along the I-25 corridor, we have high 30s, Denver's at 39, Colorado Springs at 37, Pueblo at 35. And then on the western side, it gets even colder as you go up into the mountains. So we have Craig at 27, Gunnison at 21, and we even dip down into the teens in Alamosa at 17 degrees. And then after that, we can take a look at our highs for tomorrow. And it's very interesting because it's actually split across the state. So on this side, we have some pretty nice temperatures. We've got 68 in Burlington, 69 in Lamar, almost 70 degrees. You could have like a nice picnic out there. And then along the I-25 corridor, we have 50s and 60s, kind of mixed. We've got Colorado Springs at 59, Pueblo at 67. But where it changes is on the western side, it actually gets a lot colder. We've got 41 in Craig, Vail's at 40, Gunnison's at 40, Telluride's at 38 degrees. And it's funny because we actually have an 80% chance of snow tomorrow in Telluride. So depending on where you are in the state, very different experiences. So know where you want to be at that time. And then we can take a look at um, what it's like in Fort Collins tomorrow. So that's where I am. This is what I can expect. We'll have a high of 58 and a low of 27. So pretty similar to today. A little bit cloudier, some cloud cover. And there is actually a chance tomorrow that we could have some overnight rain. So look out for a 50% chance of precipitation. And then finally, let's take a look at the rest of the week. So we have today our high was 61 on Tuesday. And then as you can see, it basically goes downhill from there. So on Thursday and Friday, we have highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s. And then in typical Colorado fashion, on Saturday, it just drops down to 26 with the low of 7. And there is a chance of snow on Saturday. And that is actually all I have for you tonight. But please stick around because after the break, we have more. Awkward. Do I look familiar? I should. You might remember me from... Here. Here. We were from Or maybe even here. But an awkward silence can be a great thing. It can actually be a perfect moment to reach out to a friend and ask if they're okay if they seem down. It doesn't matter how you say it. You all right? Everything's okay? Oh, gee. You all right, girl? Oh, you cool? You bug and dog. Just show you're there for them. Go on, Kelly. See the awkward. Hey, um, you haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. 
Welcome back from the break, Rams. We have even more news for you, so let's jump right into it. Week three of the semester has already arrived. While many students adapt to their new class schedule, one question may arise. What opportunities are there for work? As spring semester succeeds to fill most students' daily schedules, finding time to work may be an issue for some. Fortunately, the summer provides many opportunities for college students. One of the most notable is Southwestern Advantage. Southwestern Advantage helps college students all around the nation and world um, develop different skills and character traits through our summer program, uh, working with families and helping with their kids' education. Through their direct sales and leadership program, Southwestern Advantage aims to impact students through work, teach essential life skills, promote personal growth through travel, and build community and culture, all while earning money. Employee Alex Haar said this program also focuses on creating long-lasting relationships. We tend to attract go-getters, so naturally we have an incredible community, like not only people you can go and hang out with on the weekends, but also people that will like push you to do, hit your goals and have big goals in life as well. Since fall semester 2020, Southwestern has been recruiting students right off the CSU campus. As the semester progresses, Southwestern employees will work to build a strong summer team and ensure a comfortable, hard-working environment for any students to participate in. Southwestern Advantage works with over 1,600 students across 200-plus campuses across 20-plus countries and hopes to be the world's largest independent company by 2048. If students are interested in this summer opportunity, they can learn more or apply for an interview at southwesternadvantage.com. During this pandemic, the stress of paying for rent and fear of being evicted has been on many people's minds. Colorado's rental assistance programs will be receiving almost $250 million in federal aid this week to help tenants apply for three months of future rent. Luckily, the national eviction ban will protect Colorado renters until March 31st. This order has been in effect since September of 2020, but was extended last week by President Joe Biden. Tenant rights activists say this still isn't enough. This is because landlords can still evict residents under the National Eviction Moratorium once the lease expires and the landlord doesn't wish to renew it. Now, let's head over to Sarah Fowler, live in the studio, to tell us all you need to know about the upcoming ASCSU election. Although it might seem like the Associated Students of Colorado University and an election, the election just yesterday, the next one is right around the corner. The Associated Students of Colorado State University have an upcoming election this spring and it is time to start thinking about how it will impact students. ASCSU works hard every year to make sure that the students are seeing where their tuition is going. President Hannah Taylor tells us why it is important for students to be keeping up with the election. So ASCSU is actually a student fee funded area and so we get a budget of 1.6 million dollars to spend of student fees. And so what we do is try to like give it back to the student body. ASCSU manages and controls where part of the student's money go towards. Upcoming candidates will campaign for what their future plans are. You're like in charge of spending your own student fees and so I think that that's definitely a good reason to care. Um, this election is going to get a new president, a VP, and a speaker of the Senate and so it's really important to be aware of what their platforms are and what you want to see changed on campus. The changes that will occur will affect students by who they elect and what they want to make CSU look like for the school's community. I've changed the dynamic as far as what does the next president and VP want to work on? Um, what does the next speaker of the Senate want to work on? And that'll be reflected in the change of the election. The student government is keeping busy by starting off the semester right. Keep an eye out for up and coming candidates for the election this spring. Following the allegations of sexual harassment against former CSU professor Ronald Holt, one of the victims has begun painting a mural as a healing method. Holt previously worked in CSU's Gungingheim Hall, where he had a couple of murals of his own. After being delayed due to COVID-19, this new mural will be painted in the same building. In November 2020, Holt's murals were painted over by the university. However, it is unsure whether or not this new mural will be painted in the same location. According to the Rocky Mountain Collegian, the survivor, who will not be named, wants this mural to act as a, quote, justice piece for survivors, but to also go beyond that, end quote. At this time, there is no confirmed date for completion. However, CTV will update when more news surfaces. I took to the campus of CSU to see how students are feeling about the 2021 spring semester. 
Since COVID, classes have been all over the place. And this being Colorado State University's second semester open during COVID, it finally feels like things are getting back on track for the day-to-day -day operations of being a college student. For my classes this semester, most of them are in person and actually a few of them I do have online, but most of this semester I honestly think I'm going to be in person a lot. So I've definitely had more in person classes this semester. Um, it's pretty still for me, so I'm down to three classes, that's all I have left. Um, so I think it's a mix between asynchronous and then my capstones in person. With asynchronous classes, parts of lectures, assignments, and tests still being online, students' abilities to bend the rules and cheat are quite literally at their fingertips and professors are trying to find ways to keep this issue at bay. I think cheating could always be, is always an issue, definitely on college campuses, but especially more than ever with classes being online. I also noticed that like professors are doing more to enforce, like try and stop cheating. But the vaccine being distributed throughout the state, hopes are high for things to return back to normal sooner rather than later. So I just want everyone, you know, I know it's been a rough um, last year, so I think it's important that um, everyone comes out, has fun, does their part for the community, does their part for the school. Um, I've enjoyed my time at CSU. It's been a great four years, um, and I want everyone else to have the same experience that I've had. I know it's hard right now, but um, we're right around the corner, so stick with it. It's also one of the best times of your life, so we're almost through it. So I think it's around you. All in all, it seems as if the outlook for the 2021 spring semester is positive. Well, how do you think your semester is going to go this year? I'm very optimistic. Yep, I have one more semester after this. I'm getting close to the home stretch. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah. Well, Rams, that is all we have for the news tonight. But after the break, we will be joined by Ellison Hubbard to give you all your sports rundown.